A big night for local volleyball teams. A trip to Jackson on the line. Our Matt St. Jean joining us now in the studio with how it all went down. Oh yeah, 10 area teams Emily competed in the North Half Championships. All divisions represented 1A through 6A. We shall begin our volleyball journey in Pontotoc. Pontotoc was looking for back-to-back -back state championship appearances, but they'd have to go through perennial powerhouse Caledonia. Back and forth game to start, but Pontotoc had the early edge coming out hot with the home crowd behind him. Ava Robbins with the big spike and kill. Then Caledonia went on a big run. Emily Clark with the snipe to the back corner. That was too hot to handle. Then later on in the set, set point, in fact, Brianna Holloman got up for the block right there, which sent the Warriors scrambling. The Cavaliers took the first set 25 to 12. Then they took the second set, but Ponatok rallied together and won the final three sets to advance their second straight state championship game. They will play past Christiane on Saturday at 3 o'clock at Ridgeland High School. Down the road at Ingemar, the Falcons had a big hill to climb down two sets to zero against Hickory Flat. And they were looking good midway through the set. Macy Pfeiffer with the emphatic spike. That put the Falcons in front. But Hickory Flat came storming back in this one. Emma Wilson put this one down the sideline and the Rebels led by as many as four down the stretch. But the Falcons would not go away. Pfeiffer again with a perfectly placed rocket of a spike to tie it up at 24. She's a freshman. She's going to be a beast. Got to win by two. And after a Wilson block, there's that girl again. Emma Wilson smoked it right down the middle. And that would do it. The Hickory Flat Rebels win in straight sets over Ingemar for the second year in a row and advance to the 1A state championship game. Tonight, Belmont hosted Walnut for the 2A North Final. Belmont won the 3A, went to the 3A Finals last year. They're in 2A this year, and it was all Cardinals. That is set one right there. Meredith Eaton have finished that one off after a failed block attempt. Here we go, set two, set point, and that one goes into the net. The Cardinals up two sets to zero. They just need one more set to advance to the state championship yet again. And here it was. Just a little, little too much to handle there for Walnut. Walnut, the defending 2A state champions, they fall to Belmont in straight sets, three to zero. In other action in 6A, Oxford defeated Madison Central in straight sets. The Chargers will play Brandon on Saturday. Down the road at Lafayette, the Commodores defeated Lake Cormorant in three sets to one. They'll play Van Cleve. Van Cleve won the 4A state championship last year, and uh, they're proving that they can still do it up in 5A. In 3A, Alcorn Central avenged their loss in last year's North Half Final game. They actually lost to Belmont. They beat Kasuth three sets to one. They'll play Our Lady Academy. 1A, 3A, and 5A will play at Clinton High School. 2A, 4A, and 6A, all in that order, will play at Ridgeland. Best of luck to all the area teams on Saturday. Bring home that gold. Emily, back to you.